I'm Nikki Baird. I'm the Vice President of Strategy at Aptos, and we're a sponsor of Super Saturday. It's a really great event with a lot of content that's valuable, especially but not exclusively for tech professionals in retail. Retail ROI does really great work, and one of the most important fundraisers is Super Saturday. We'd really love to see you there. And to help explain why, I thought I'd bring a more personal angle to it. So Aptos has been involved with retail ROI almost since the inception of our company. One of the ways retail ROI raises money and awareness is through trips to visit charities in action. Personally, I've been involved in two trips, one to Bercy, Haiti, and one to Copan Ruinas in Honduras. And both times I've taken one of my kids with me, and both times it's been a really powerful experience for them, for me, for our relationship with each other, and it's that personal experience that I want to share with you. So my son is in college now, uh, studying to be a mechanical engineer, and his experience getting hands-on with Mike Rivas and Lysong on the challenges of getting and sustaining clean water in Haiti really shaped how he thinks about the world and what his skill set can do. The challenge with water in Haiti is that it's very low lying, so sea level country with a lot of salinated water. And most of that water is very untreated, comes straight from wells that really have a high salt content. One of the things that we saw uh, in Bercy with Lifesong was where uh, a group of people had come in with a, sal a desalination technology that they were trialing at Lifesong and it worked really well, but then it broke. Uh, it's, you know, the challenges of operating in a country like Haiti is um, multiplied. Every, every challenge that you can think of is a challenge that happens and keeping something that's a complicated system like desalinating water is actually very, very difficult and has lots of failure points. And one of the experiences that we had was just learning about some of those challenges of everybody has great ideas about how to help, but really making that help useful and valuable and sustainable, I think is one of the biggest challenges in, in really doing charity work anywhere in the world. And sharing that experience, you know, from back to that personal nature of things um, was really impactful for my son who wanted to be an engineer, who's almost ready to be an engineer and who really learned a lot about some of those unintended consequences or just not thinking through what it takes to really make something work it's really shaped his interests and his successes in college that he's going to take out into the world as a mechanical engineer. Uh, and that I, I really value that I was a part of that experience as well. For my daughter, we went to Honduras. She just started college last year and her trip this summer, we met Emily and Daisy at Casita Copan. And we were there to understand the causes behind the orphan challenges in Honduras. Um, and it really, she's pursuing criminal justice studies. And I think it really helped shape an understanding of the cascading impacts that policy decisions can have. We did have fun too. We uh, got to go visit a world heritage site from UNESCO, uh, which was amazing. But we also saw amazing people doing amazing things on a very small scale as well. Like uh, taking food and clothing and donated items to a group of families that basically live on the edge of a dump. So trash trucks bring in um, trash from all across Honduras. They come to this location and dump it. And these people basically scavenge off of the dump in order to live. And being able to see just how challenging it is to survive and the things that people have to do to survive in these kinds of locations, but also doing it in a way where you're supporting people like Daisy um, who have really come together to try to help as many people as they can. Um, it's just really gratifying to be a part of that. So we served meals and we handed out clothing. Um, and then we went back to uh, Casita Copan, which was the charity, uh, the other charity that Retail ROI supports. And we made meals for the kids there. So uh, baleadas are the um, kind of food of choice in Honduras. Uh, it's a tortilla basically with some beans and rice and some vegetables. And um, we learned how to make them. And then we served them up to the orphan kids that uh, Casita Copan helps. 
Uh, and I say orphans, but it's such a complex environment for uh, families in Honduras that they often have family that uh, are there, even though they're unable to support these kids. So um, just having that sense of community that is available for those kids, being a part of that, again, it just really shapes um, it shapes your kid's thinking, it shapes how you see your kid, it shapes how your kid sees you. Uh, and I just can't recommend having those kinds of experiences as much as possible. So while you will get exclusive access to some leading retail insights at Super Saturday, what you really get is an opportunity to meet people like Mike and Daisy and a whole bunch more people like them. And you might just find someone doing their part to change a little piece of the world that maybe even changes yours too. So I really hope to see you there.